We have an entire duffel bag full of Alphalete new releases that we're gonna be discussing in today's video. I hope you're ready. We are talking new Pulse, new Ultra Soft, and their newest collection, the Elements Collection. All these new goodies will be releasing March 26th, that's a Saturday at 1 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, along with a lot more, okay? I'm just warning you. So I wanted to cover a full Elements review in this video first and foremost. Then we're gonna dip and dive into some new Pulse Collection colors. The reason why I'm not gonna do a too in-depth of a review into the Pulse Collection is because I already did that, so I'll have that video linked up here somewhere, one of these sides here. But nevertheless, they got some really gorgeous colors coming out in that Pulse collection. I don't know if you saw it on Instagram, but they've been promoting the hell out of it and they're beautiful. So a big thank you to Alpha Elite for sending out these pieces so that I can share them with you. If you do choose to support me during this launch, thank you so much. My code is GATA. You can use that at checkout. It really does help to just support this channel. It lets Alpha Elite know that I sent you and it helps this channel's relationship with Alpha Elite to keep videos like this coming your way. Also, don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you love videos like this. We have a ton more coming your way, you best believe it. We got those unreleased Alpha Elite, Gymshark, Buff Bunny, you name it. We love to talk about things before they actually hit the site on this channel. So speaking of which, let's talk about the element first and foremost, because I feel like that's a big reason why you guys are here today. So before we hop into the try-on, I have to make mention, Alpha Elite's briefs are so spot on. Basically the PDFs that they send out with all the information, you can tell there's a lot of hard work that went into it. So you're gonna see those pop up sporadically throughout the video, kind of giving you some more information, some in-depth info and color palette themes. So. Keep an eye out for that. You can expect to see in this new Elements collection two different types of joggers, this cropped hood, a full zip hoodie, a crop zipped hoodie, and these shorts. I'm not gonna lie, at first glance, just looking at the brief pictures, I really thought this was gonna be a very paper thin collection, especially this cropped hood here. I wish I got more. I didn't realize how thick and thicky and durable it really was until it came in. So let's start off with this set that I'm wearing right now. I paired the relaxed shorts with the cropped half sleeve hoodie. I have to say my favorite part of this hoodie, hands down, would be the embossed cursive logo that they have written right across the chest. It has that three-dimensional feel, extremely luxurious. It's reinforced from the back. You can feel it gripped inside here. It's got that real boxy fit, oversized look, half sleeve, drop sleeve. So very slouchy and comfortable. Definitely could be used for athleisure, but what I love about this collection and how they market it is you could use it just being relaxed because it's a relaxed fit, or you can actually technically work out in it. This type of material just stays put. Like this hood, it stays put wherever you put it. Now I am wearing a small in both shorts and the top. I would say if you're in between, like you could totally size down in this. It does have that super boxy look to it. The shorts, however, the shorts, I'm gonna go ahead and say my size small works perfectly, except I do notice a little bit of grab right around the gooch, little gooch grab. I prefer a little more room in this region, especially for a relaxed fit. I don't wanna feel nothing going in places it shouldn't be going. So I'm just saying this is how it's fitting me. I love the invisible pockets that they have. A phone does fit in it, in case you were wondering, because that's important. There's no plush lining at all whatsoever, so I can see how this would be a great set to actually work out in if you prefer a more relaxed set to work out in. Keep in mind, there's no liner under here. I'm free bowling it at the moment, but just so you know, I don't really feel like you have an issue because it hugs you in the right places, but if you size up, you might wanna wear some underneath. <laughs> All right, so let's move on to some joggers. Out of the two that are launching, these are the more form-fitted joggers. These are the zip, whoa, <laughs> zip joggers. <laughs> I got them in a staple black just so they can go with absolutely anything. First impression, they're very comfortable, so stretchy, very true to size. I would stick to my true size small any day. They are thick. All right, keep that in mind. This whole collection is thick. With that being said, they do have a nice stretch to them, but they're not ultra stretchy, but there's a decent amount of stretch to them. They are called the zip jogger because they do unzip at the calves right here, make it easier for you to get these on because once you zip them up, woo, they're pretty snug towards the end. You do have a lot of contour seams going around. It's nice, it breaks it up a little bit. This is not something I would wear to the gym. I don't really like wearing heavy jogger sets to the gym. I would sweat too much and just be a little uncomfortable. I really am glad that there's no riding up here though. 
Just the shorts? Okay, I'll take it. Really nice high waist. You do have a drawstring. I think you could size up if you prefer a more baggier fit though. Let's pair it with the cropped full zip jacket. So we have really nice thick cuffs. First thing I notice. This is my first impression. I wanna do this together. Love that contrast, the black and cream contrast. The contour seams gives a real techie sport look. You have a lot of zippers going on with this. You actually have one right in the sleeve, which is cool. Check that out. What the hell? In case you wanna, in case you wanna hide shit in your sleeve. Oh my God. I wouldn't say it fits a phone. Nor would I wanna keep a phone here, but for the hell of it, yeah, it does fit a phone after all. What do, what do you know about that? <laughs> Just so you can get an idea of the pocket size. Yeah, my phone's right there. Unlike the joggers, they do have two pockets right here that zip right on in by the breast. I gotta say, one of the main things that I look for when wearing anything with hoods, I ask myself, is the hood heavy? Does it have the heavy hood syndrome, as I like to call it? Meaning, does it fall back and choke me out? Nobody likes a heavy hood. I don't know about you, but I don't. This does not. And this is definitely designed for outer use because when you zip it up, it does cover the neck here, prevent that wind from slashing you. I don't really have too many critiques with this set. If anything, I would say maybe right here, there's a little bit of bulkiness going on in the jogger. So not totally flattering on the peach for me because you do have the seams. This seam breakup is just allowing a little more material to bunch up right here. So, mm. but other than that, this hoodie's where it's at. All right, jogger number two. Let's see what it do, baby. What are we thinking about the relaxed fit? This is in the color teal. Wish I got more of this color. I don't know why I didn't. <laughs> I actually like the relaxed fit a lot better. <laughs> I didn't think I would, but yeah, I do. I think it looks really cute with the extra bunchy band right here. These joggers are totally giving me those 90 vibes that I crave from time to time. Very old school, I like it. You feel a lot more space going on right around the crotch region. So this is something I would wear a lot more, I think. Actually, it is kind of giving me a flop crotch. Now that I'm looking at it, yeah. Especially if you hike them up. Ooh, I don't really like that. It is labeled an oversized fit, so I do think if you're in between sizes, size down, it's very, very stretchy. I feel like it's a little bit stretchier, probably because there's more room than the other joggers, but yeah, I would say size down and maybe avoid this issue right here. I think comfort level, this is 10 times more comfortable than the fitted. That's just me, but maybe the fitted might be a little more flattering in certain areas. All right, so let's move on to some new pulse that's launching. This is Arcade Pink, which if you know me, I'm not really that big of a pink person, but because this is more of a fuchsia color where it's merging pink and purple, well, now you got my vote. We are looking at the Kinetic Bra and the Surge Shorts. Let me tell you something about the sizing. I sized up to a medium in these shorts. I now do that with fitted shorts and it's the best thing I've ever done. I just do not like, I do not like cinching around my thighs at all. Not even a little bit, it'll piss me off. So sizing up has really been a game changer for me. Sizing down in the kinetic bra. The last time I tried this kinetic bra, there was just way too much room up here. It looked more like just a bag on my chest than anything. So I sized on down to an extra small. I do love it. I think it fits a lot better. But with that being said, because it is a very strappy bra, I do feel the straps digging in a little bit more, pinching on this area just a bit more. So keep that in mind. This is a tricky freaking bra. Am I right? You stay true to size, it's a little big, you size down, it's a little pinchy, I don't know. Ultimately, if I had to do it all over again, I'd keep this extra small. It's a really nice like yogi base in my opinion, very stretchy, very like slippery soft feel super wicking. You could feel the wicking properties. That's the first thing I notice. A little bit on the thin side, but yet still durable. Not a whole ton of support when it comes to the bottoms. Like if you're looking for tummy control and things like that, you won't really find that in this collection. But I do think that the seams here really work in your favor, right in the, around the glute department. Kind of makes them pop just a little bit. I do think that the luxury green color is my favorite of them all. Are you seeing this right now? So I'm wearing the kinetic leggings with the balance bra. I think the kinetic leggings are my favorite out of the pulse because you have minimal seams right around here. A lot of seamed sporty looking down the sides where it counts. Please do keep in mind something I noticed about the pulse collection. I noticed this back in the day too, but I'm gonna reiterate real fast for you. It's not very cellulite friendly, not a crazy ton support like I said before. 
And because of the material, I notice when I'm squatting or doing jumping movements and things like that, it slowly does slide. It has that slippery feel. So just be mindful of that. I would stay away from this if you're into real hit movements and things like that. Simple weight training, you should be fine. The neckline is really pretty on the balance bra. I think that's why I like it so much. I feel a little bit of gaping right here, actually. A little bit of a let up going on right here. That doesn't bother me. I kind of prefer that because I don't want any pinching or digging around here. So a little let up actually feels good for me. As long as there's no let up right here when I'm bending, we're good. Really nice, simple back. This is the kind of bra where I feel secure in, confident, and I don't have really thin straps pinching all around my back. Desert vibes to the max here. We got serge bra and serge leggings. There's actually a tiny little band right here. Little reinforced band right around the hem of the waistband here that the kinetic does not have. With that being said, it'll help these leggings stay put a little bit better. So if that's a main concern, Definitely grab the surge over the kinetic. Got a little more reinforcement here just to ensure that nothing's slipping around. The surge bra, especially in this exotic yellow color, is really giving me bohemian style vibes. I don't know, it's just working together. You have full coverage, thick straps, little keyhole down here, but this chestnut color mixed with the exotic yellow I feel like a sunflower. Let's touch base on the Ultra Soft Collection. In case you have never tried it, it is Alphalete's softest collection. Yes, it is ultra soft, it really freaking is. It's double brushed for crying out loud. But they are coming out with really nice cropped camisole types of things like that. It almost feels so brushed, like you don't even wanna wear it because you might ruin it. <laughs> it's like delicate feeling. But if you're looking for really nice statement pieces that you can wear with anything, check out the Ultra Soft. This is something I would wear more just at leisurely out and about, really cute little pieces. Like I said, really straightforward collection, very simple, minimal pieces. However, my favorite, my favorite from the collection is without a doubt, the ultra soft dress. So I got it in this orange color. They're really pretty like maroon, more fall oriented colors, I think coming out in my opinion. But this orange spoke to me for more of a tangerine, fun summer kind of style. It is extremely form fitted. It's also very stretchy, so it's comfortable. A little bit thick actually, which I like. I did not want it to be one of those dresses that are really just thin and you just see all my cellulite. I like that they added a little thickness to this. It is not sheer whatsoever. The straps are very adjustable. I love this little tie. It's like a little twist back they got, a little bit of open skin, open skin, no. A little open back to show some skin. This is double layered and I am not wearing a bra. Certain times you can see a little pointy action. This is the kind of dress I, if I was wearing in public, would wear nipple pads underneath. Not necessarily a bra because you gotta find one that just really fits this square neck, right? And especially because you wanna maintain this really pretty open back, you don't wanna sacrifice that. So yeah, nipple pads is where it's at for this unless you just wanna free ball it and let the gals out, who cares? I hope you enjoyed this video and found it helpful. If you did, please don't forget to give it a like. Subscribe for future videos just like this. And thank you so much if you do choose to use my code during this launch, really do appreciate it. Drop a comment if you have any questions at all. Let's chit chat it up. What were your favorite pieces from what I shared with you? I love you guys so much and I will catch you in my next video.